everyone so welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful glam spring look one of my favorite things so far this season has been liquid eyeshadow I cannot get enough I will probably do a video of like swatches of the ones that I do have um, but seriously they have been my ride or die it's just it gives your look just this awesome like pow thing that I just like I have to have it just perks me up liquid eyeshadow has been like my faves uh, for the past couple of months um so you will be able to see this look coming up just wanted to let you guys know that April starts tomorrow and I am going to officially announce that I am going to be um participating in VEDA which is vlog every day in April you guys will be able to see content every single day so I'm not going to give you a definitive time that it's going to be up but if you want to know when it's going to be up make sure you hit that little bell somewhere subscribe so that way you know when the content is up and you guys won't miss a thing. I did not cut my hair, don't worry. But when I saw Janelle Monet at the Oscars with her shortcut, I was like, I got to find me something like that. And I did. So um, this is um, my new wig I just got today. So I'm putting it on and gonna play with it and see how I like it and give you guys a review of it uh, later on uh, this uh, next week sometime. So I'm gonna gonna wear her out okay <laughs> without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started so you guys can find out how to do this amazing glam spring look I hope you guys enjoy and as always thanks for watching I love you guys I will catch you in the next video bye first off we're gonna start with primer which is the makeup forever step one primer we're gonna go ahead and rub that in all over our face Once that's done, we're going to use our foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the color Y505. And I'm going to take a stippling brush and just go ahead and stipple that into my skin first. Next, we're going to take a damp beauty blender and we're going to go ahead and thin that out just a little bit. We're going to make it look airbrushed. Next up, I'm going to be using the NARS concealer. This is a brand new product. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And then we're going to go ahead and blend that in with the Damp Beauty Blender. Next up is contour and I like to use the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the color Deep. Then I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. I believe I got this from Sephora and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of the um, bronzer out because we don't want any harsh lines. And 
Next, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's a new one in medium deep. I love this. Going to take a damp beauty blender and we're just going to go ahead and set our concealer. Go ahead and do our eyes. I want to use that modern renaissance. First color is going to be burnt orange. Now we're going to go ahead and put that in the crease. We're going to want to make sure that we blend it out. Now this is not one of my favorite um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes only because you probably saw that there's a bit of fallout and my World Traveler palette doesn't have any fallout so I, again, this isn't one of my favorite palettes by them. Next color, we're going to use Regular, and we're going to put that in the crease as well. And we're just going to blend this out. Blend, blend, blend. Next color is Love Letter, and this one is very pigmented. So we're gonna just put a little bit on the brush and build it up as we need to. You can always build up your color. It's a little bit harder if you have all the color on there and then you just have a mess. So build up the color, especially if you're working with something that's very pigmented. And that color is the Love Letter. Next color is going to be Venetian Red, and again, this one is very pigmented as well, so a little goes a long way. Start small, build it up if need be, and I'm going to go ahead and again put that in the crease. I'm also going to put it on the outer and inner corners of my eye, and we're going to again blend. Next, we're going to use Cypress Umber, and we're just going to put that in the corner of the eyes just to get a little bit more depth, and again, blend that out. We don't want any harsh lines, so we're just going to blend that out. gonna go ahead and just wipe away that powder because I don't have to worry about the fallout and on my lower lid I just use some more of the cypress umber and smoke that out as well as a little bit of red ochre And I went ahead and just, again, smoked that out as well. For my lid, I'm going to be using Primavera. And Primavera I'm going to use in the middle of my eye and bring it to the outer corner. Now I'm going to be using the liquid eyeshadow from Stila and it is the Rose Gold Retro. You guys, Stila's liquid eyeshadow are the bomb. 
And I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner and bring that right into the middle to meet uh, my lid color. Just to give it a little bit of glam and a little bit of pop. Next, I'm going to be using mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. For liner, I'm using the Kat Von D Liquid Tattoo. And then for blush, I'm using Benefit Cha Cha Tint in the color mango. I love this because it gives you this really fresh look, very natural look, um, and you can build this. So I went ahead and did a second application just to build it up a little bit. Um, but seriously, uh, my sister turned me on to this and I am glad she did because I love it. Next up, I'm going to be using the highlighter, and it's the Artist Couture, and it's the Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. If you want your cheeks to look like a beautiful glazed donut, this is what you need. <laughs> I love their glow powders. Don't forget that Cupid's bow and a little bit on the nose. You want to go ahead and make everything shine where the light normally touches. Next we're gonna do lips. I'm using the Red Chocolate Lip Liner from Lori Mercier. Laura Mercier, wow, it is late, I'm tired. <laughs> And I'm going to use Lolita, which is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. And on top of that, I will be putting Apple Dumpling, which is an NYX Intense Butter Gloss. Just put that gloss right over top. And there you have it, a beautiful spring glam look. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.